Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this video, I speak about uh, how and in what situations I use multiband compression in mushroom. I show you my settings for different uh, scenarios. And uh, for this purpose, I'm uh, using my uh, um, analog multiband compressor, uh, Droma 1973. And, um, of course, all these uh, techniques and settings you can apply in any digital multiband compressor. So, before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. And now, let's get started started in fact there's a little reason to use a multiband compressor on a good balanced uh, mix uh, mostly it's a problem solver when i use my droma 1973 analog multiband compressor most of uh, often i use it on a specific areas of the spectrum low end or high end or when I want to gel the whole mix. I almost never apply multiband compression just to the mid range uh, frequencies because of high risk of taking the life away. The reason is that almost every instrument within the mix passes the mid range area and makes up the life of the track. The punch of almost every sound is largely the work of the mids. So my Droma 1973 is a three band compressor. In fact, three is all I need. And often uh, one or two bands are doing nothing or very little. So my usual crossover settings are bass from zero to 160 hertz, mids from 160 up to 3.5k and highs from 3.5k uh, up to 20k. Multiband uh, compression to control lows for a bit of punch. So uh, it is a good and common use to tighten up a loose or to control an overpowering low end. So on the very low uh, band I set long attack time 40 50 milliseconds and fast release time 100 uh, 200 milliseconds i want a certain amount of transient information to pass in this case as it is carrying the low end punch this tightening of the lows does wonders for translation to the consumer smaller speakers as it improves the low end punch. Now let's do pre and post a B test. multiband compression to control highs. When I receive a finished mix for mastering with overpowering hi-hats or cymbals, on the high band of my compressor, I set very fast attack and release times. 5 milliseconds for the attack and between 20 and 80 milliseconds for the release. If I apply a longer attack time, 
the head will simply pass by before the compressor has time to control it. If I apply a longer release time, it may sound like I've reduced the hi-hats using an EQ and as it could stay in its state of compression until the next hi-hat arrives. The ratio depends massively on how much control is desired. Now let's do pre and post A-B test. multi-band compression to gel the whole mix. From time to time I use multi-band compression for providing a layer of gel and bringing the mix to a hole. In such a scenario, all my compressor's bands are active with the light settings. I set slow attack time and the fast release time. Ratio is quite low and all settings are identical for each band. Now let's do pre and post A-B test. 